Hey, what's going on, guys? It's RC back with another video. On this particular video, guys, we want to talk about Iowa and if it's realistic. Are our chances realistic for going all the way back to the national title game? So far, guys, it's been an incredible ride. It, it really has. We have been playing better with this team than I had expected. Um, a lot is, is very dependent upon the, the mega success of Caitlin Clark, and we know this. We established this. We recognize this. We know just how great, how legendary that Caitlin Clark is. Um, Kate Martin, she's been playing very well this season. Um, Molly Davis has come up with some incredible plays for us this season. Um, Sydney Folter has been quite the revelation as it just – compares to how hard she outworks the opposition, her grit, her competitive nature, just the way she gets after it, hustle, grit, and grind. And I must say, guys, that it has been a outstanding campaign, even though we have lost to Kansas State, but Kansas State has proven to be the real deal. So it has shown that it's a legitimate loss. And even though we, we lost a hard-fought game to Ohio State, um, so far, so far, I'm just proud of of how we play, um, how we've put together a nice, decent group around Caitlin Clark, how much everybody knows their roles and plays their roles. And ultimately, guys, as long as we got number 22, we stand a chance at going all the way. Now, you know what a lot of people say has some truth to it in terms of. You guys just ultimately probably don't have enough firepower because you don't have a definitive number two or three. Um, you know, the bench could be kind of a roll of the dice some games. You don't know what you're going to get as it pertains to the bench, um, especially with Sidney and Fulter uh, being a big part of the bench. But um, going forward, we just got to continue to try to rack up these wins, get these victories that we know we can get. Uh, we can't afford to drop any losses that we shouldn't have. We can't afford to, you know, fall asleep at the wheel. And I fully trust that the coaching staff, Caitlin, Kate Martin, Gabby Marshall, you know, leaders of this team will, will continue to have this team prepared to play. Um, Hannah Stokey has had a pretty stellar campaign, been up and down, injuries, um, some youth there. But ultimately, she's a big part of the future. So, um, I believe in what Hannah can do for us going forward and in the now. Um, but yeah, ultimately, guys, I'm just sitting here just happy to say that it's been a very successful year. Um, we have not fallen um, lower than five in the polls, even though you guys know I don't look at the polls as being something that's, you know, an end all be all. But you know, if you can play well enough, you can probably get a number one seed um, and it can make all the difference in the world. So you want to just try to continue to just get these victories. Um, Kaylin Clark, pretty soon she'll have the all time scoring record. Hopefully she can get that before the tournament starts. Um, you want to just kind of get that, you know, big um, albatross out of the way, even though it's going to be, you know, what I would deem a glorious moment. But, you know, ultimately, it's all about trying to get that national title, which I'm pretty sure she would tell you herself, Caitlin Clark, would rather have a national title than to have the all-time scoring record. So um, I pretty much don't have too much more to say. Um, as I sit here and really look at things and break it down, we have been dominant over those teams that we're supposed to. Um, we've shown that we can beat good teams as well. Victories over Virginia Tech. Um, victories over who? Well, Michigan State's a good team. We got victories over Michigan State. Um, so, yeah, um, I know I'm forgetting some teams, but we definitely, we beat K-State um, the second time around um, in the revenge game. So, you know, that's, that's a really, really big victory. Um, but, yeah, just let me know your guys, your, you guys, um, thoughts and opinions. What do you think about the season so far? Um, are you satisfied? Are you happy with the season? Um, is it going the way you would like? Um, I would say that um, one to ten. One to ten. What do you What do you feel? Uh, one to ten. I, I I feel like I'm at a feel like I'm at an eight in terms of where we are. Just because you know we lost we lost Monica 
um, and, and we lost uh, what's what's her name? Um, uh, McKenna. We lost McKenna Warnock, and of course Monica Cesano. And I just didn't know what to expect. I actually thought we would probably lose more games than we have. So it's been a true, true success. Um, Caitlin has been truly, truly amazing. Just a spectacle to watch. Um, just ever so dazzling on the court. Uh, raining threes, middies, um, one of the best drivers. And it's just an incredible time to be an Iowa Hawkeyes fan and a Caitlin Clark fan. So um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hawkeyes fans, you know it's all love. And with that being said, hey, like, subscribe, share, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Give me that like. Get this video floating out there to other Iowa fans so we can get their opinions. Let me know what you guys think about Hannah, Addie, Molly, Sydney, Caitlin, of course. Ma, uh, Hannah, um, did I say Gabby? Gabby as well. Just the whole team. What are your thoughts and opinions? I'm gone.